Good morning, everybody. We're here today at Legoland Florida for the media day for their brand new ride, Pirate River Quest. Very excited. It is a free floating boat attraction. It's gonna be a fun time. It's been a long time since we've been doing new ride opening. So let's head on back. All right, so we have just made our way inside of the gates of Legoland and we're headed back to Pirate River Quest. So looking at the sign, we can see it will open on 1-12-23. And like I said, today is 1-11-23 and they haven't added it to the sign yet. They're gonna have to add it somewhere in here in this general region. So that's where we're headed to. Right now, we are up here, right here. So we're gonna make our way past the carousel, through Miniland, and then past the, the ski show buildings and make our way over to Cypress Gardens area. So we're just passing by the Legoland Coffee Company which did open in 2021. We're headed towards the carousel. It should come into view here in just one second. There it is. You can kind of see the yellow top of it. Get your pizza here. You do have to pass by the pizza like chef. The pizza? I do like the pizza. Oh man, he's really calling me. All right, we're gonna head to, it is nice and tasty. Nice, nice and tasty. tasty. We're headed down to Pirate River Quest here. first. Then maybe we'll come back and get some pizza from you. Passing by Granny's Apple Fries and the Carousel, and of course, Heart Lake City here on the left as well. Heading towards Lego Miniland. As we're passing by this sign here, that is the map of Legoland. We can see Pirate Fest weekends, select dates in January and February. That'll be January 21st through 22nd, 28th through 29th, February 4th through 5th, 11th through 12th, and 18th through 19th. And that is just some extra piratey themed things happening around the park. And those extra themed experiences include pirate characters, pirate shows, and pirate builds throughout the park. So we've made it down to Miniland and we are just following the water at this point. Just leaving Lego Miniland and then we are headed in this direction, just past the big waterfall. We can see Project X up there ahead of us, that roller coaster. As we are making our way past the stadium for Brickbeard's Water Sports Stunt Show, we're starting to see some of the Pirate Fest weekends theming out and about. We'll step and repeat so you can look like a pirate. Oh, and there are gems out here leading you to Pirate River Quest. And we can see we've got some pirate laundry hanging up out here. And I think that this might be the location of some of the piratey meet and greets. So we got some cannonball holes underneath the awning here. And we have some piratey themed facades on the outside. Oh no, these are pirate underwear, aren't they? Or are they just pirate pants? One of the things that's great about this stunt show here, the water sports stunt show is there's the stadium and then on either side of the stadium, they have lawn seating. So if the stadium gets full or if you just don't want to sit in the stadium, you can sit out here on the lawn. Oh, a pirate squirrel right here. Oh, they have some, some things out here on the sidewalk. It says, follow the gems. Your adventure awaits for Pirate River Quest. Yarg. See you later, Pirate Squirrel. And the final location of Pirate's River Quest is down here near the entrance to Cypress Gardens. They are doing some rehearsals for the opening moment tomorrow. So we've got some Lego characters. But we are here next to the Stunt Show Theater. And just to the right of it is Pirate's River Quest. We got a sign out front that says, Pirate River Quest will be opening January 12th for all guests. Today is January 11th, so just tomorrow. We're looking at the sign over here. And an interesting fact about this is it is a free floating boat ride. So they do have life vests available. They've got some really interesting rules for this one. You have to be 14 years old or older to ride by yourself. Anybody under 14 has to have a supervising adult or a supervising companion. Guests under six must wear a life vest. You may get wet. Uh, I cannot accommodate guests of larger size. You have to transfer. Free floating docks can be unstable platforms and beware of wildlife, alligators, and snakes in the area. The following guests are not allowed. Motion sickness, heart condition, head, neck, or back problems, full leg casts, or people that are intoxicated. The ride is not suitable for pregnancy. No leaning out of the boat. No food, drinks, or smoking while on the boat. No touching the wildlife, no littering. Lots of stuff happening here. And of course, we should mention that this boat ride is located back in the old Cypress Gardens section of Legoland. Cypress Gardens being the previous tenant of this location, which started as a botanical garden back in 1936. So it's a very old Florida attraction. So we're getting a little bit of information about Ahoy. what's gonna happen. Ooh, ahoy. I just want to welcome you all to the Pirate River Quest here at Legoland, Florida. My name is Scott. 
Valley. So now I'm really looking forward to seeing all you brave pirates sailing off on the adventure of a lifetime. Oh, yes, me hearty. You pirates will be sailing deep into Cypress Gardens in search of the missing pirate castle. The one and only Captain Redbeard. Well, here we are in the boat. We're on the Cypress Bell. We're off to try to find Captain Redbeard's treasure. Ahoy, shipmates! My name's Captain Redbeard. And I'd like to thank you for joining me on this quest. I need your help, as I've been cursed by the Monkey Troy and banished to a mysterious place called the Sea of Lost Breaks. Those cheeky monkeys stole all my treasure. Legend has it that the only way to lift the curse so I can get back to Legoland is for you, my pirate crew, to find and count my stolen treasure. Huh? Treasure? Find it? Count it? Lift the curse? That's right, Popsy. Popsy the parrot is on the front of the boat. Popsy will help us by being my eyes and ears. Oh, and be warned, the monkey tribe are about, and they'll be up to no good. Watch out for their monkey spies. <laughs> now, crew, we need to find my fellow pirate, Calico Jane. She's bringing her ship to help find and count the treasure so we can lift the curse. She'll help us deal with those mischievous monkeys. Everyone, keep a lookout for a ship. I like that. Shiver me timbers! Surprise monkey attack! They've sunk Calico Jade's ship! Oh, and poor old Scallywag is stuck in the crow's nest! Come on, crew! We need to help Calico Jade! Aye, aye, Captain! Let's teach those pesky monkeys a lesson! Load Cannon! Load Cannon! Ready! Oh, no, no. Aim! Sorry about your ship. I'll find me another. Good luck, Redbeard. Now, we need to find and count my stolen treasure. Huh? Gators? Gators? That's right, Popsy. There are alligators about. Keep your arms, legs, beards, wooden legs out of the water. Those gators can get a bit snappy, especially if you wake them up from a deep sleep. Now, you need to find and count the blue sapphires. Huh? Find and count the blue sapphires. Shh, not a sound. Keep quiet, me hearties. Don't wake the gators. Oh, and remember to count the blue sapphires. But very quietly, like this. One, two, three. Three comes after two. Ah, shh, Popsy. How many blue sapphires did you count? Nine. Nine. Nine blue sapphires! Nine, you say? Now, onwards we sail. Ahoy, me hearties, remember this verse. Find the treasure and lift the curse. Ah, burn some! Well spotted, Popsy. We're heading towards a land full of beautiful birds. Legend has it that the bird song of these beautiful birds can make you fall into a beautiful sleep. Now, you need to find and count my pretty pink diamonds. Good luck! Keep a lookout for my treasure. Count the pink diamonds. Oh, and remember, don't listen to the beautiful bird song. It'll only make you fall out. Wake up, Redbeard! Huh? Sink me! If we didn't just fall asleep, did you find the twelve diamonds? I bet you did. Huh? Skeleton Valley? That's right, Popsy. We're sailing to Skeleton Valley. Now, the best way to get past these skeletons is to fool them into thinking you're a skeleton. And you do that by pulling a skeleton face. Everyone pull a skeleton face. Now get ready to find and count my red rubies. Oh, look, pirates. Let's tell them a joke. We love telling jokes. Did you hear about the pirate boxer? He had a great left hook. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. How much did 
the pirate pay to get his ears pierced. A buck, I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never find your treasure! Go monkeys! Go monkeys! <laughs> Anyway, how many rubies did you find? Sixteen rubies. Sixteen? Good work, crew. Now find and count my green emeralds and gold coins. Well, blow me down if it ain't the old shipmate core. He's one of the Buccaneer brothers. Is that you, Captain Redbeard? Indeed it is. Sorry to see you, but it's my blood. Not so worry, Captain. You pick me out soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, crew, there were 13 green emeralds and 20 gold coins. Well done if you counted them all. Ah, creepy crawlies. I don't like creepy crawlies. Now, legend says that the way to scare away creepy crawlies is to make a noise like this. Let's all give it a shot. <laughs> Keep counting the treasure. Oh, my goodness. There's my old first mate stuck in that web. I'm in a bit of a sticky situation, Captain. Make this noise to keep the spiders away. <laughs> Don't do this. It makes them angry. <laughs> Good luck, matey. Thank you. How much treasure was with the creepy crawlies? Ah, 20 gems, 30 gold coins. Well done, crew, if you found all those. The monk tribe stole three golden bricks from me. We need to find these golden bricks or the curse will never be lifted. Look out for four letters. Legend says you must arrange the letters to spell out where you'll find the first golden brick. We need to find the four letters. We're looking in the reet. I think I got it right. Did you find the letters? What did they spell? Great! That's right! It spells tree. So we'll find the first golden brick in a tree. Good luck with that. This place is full of trees. Shiver me, timbers. You found the monkey tribe's hideaway. Well done, crew. There's Calico Jean again. Come on, crew. Give her a big cheer. Hooray! Let's give those monkeys a fright. Low cannon. Low cannon. I wonder how many pieces of treasure there was. And you found the first golden brick. We need to find two more. Huh? Sea monster! Sea monster? It's a kraken! Blow me down! The legend of the kraken is true! Batten down the hatches! We need a haul wind to get past the kraken! Keep a lookout for that second golden brick! <laughs> We're getting past the Kraken! We survived! <laughs> well sailed, crew! You know what? I wonder if that Kraken was trying to help us. Maybe they were keeping the golden brick away from the monkey tribe. I guess we'll never know. Onwards! We sail! Right, crew, to lift the curse and get me back home, we need to find one more golden brick. Now, if you see it, shout out! Ahoy! Golden brick! Ahoy! Golden brick! Ahoy! Golden brick! Ha <laughs> ha! You did it! You found the last golden brick! Well done, crew! The curse! is sure to be lifted. Wait, something strange is happening. I think the curse the monkey tribe put on me is lifting. You did it, crew. I'm coming home. Hooray! We're sailing into open waters, and I'm coming home to my beloved Cypress Garden. Florida's first tourist attraction. It all started here in the year... 1936! Huh? Oh, hold your beat, Popsy! <laughs> Let the crew feel the wind in their face. Let them enjoy the open water, the wildlife, and the tropical wonderland that is Cypress Gardens. Ahoy, shipmates! It's me, Captain Redbeard!
Weird! You did it! You defeated the monkey tribe, lifted the curse, brought me back from the sea of last bricks, and found all my stolen treasure! And here it is! <laughs> and for that, I thank you. You found the treasure and lifted the curse! Ha <laughs> ha! And I have a surprise for you! Your empty treasure chest is now full of treasure! Well done, crew! <laughs> We did it. This calls for a celebration. I feel like singing a song. I wrote this myself. When I sing Captain, you all sing Redbeard. Redbeard? Not yet. Clap along, mateys. Have you heard the tale of a pirate crew and they searched for Captain Redbeard? Redbeard. With a Redbeard hole, the monkey tried the cursed for Captain Redbeard. Redbeard. But his pirate crew saved old Captain Redbeard. Redbeard. Good song, isn't it? Now his pirate crew, they sail back home. He thanks them all from the bottom of his heart. The crew of Captain Redbeard. Redbeard. And the crew of Captain Redbeard. Redbeard. Well, that's it, me hearties. We're coming into port. You need to find your land legs. You're the best pirate crew I've ever sailed with. From me, Captain Redbeard. From Popsy the Parrot and our wonderful boat captain. Farewell! <laughs> All right, so we just got off of Pirate River Quest. Such a fun ride. Very interactive for the kids. Like the kids have something to do on the ride and it is a very relaxing trip for the parents. Especially a day like today where it is 70 degrees outside, cool and breezy on the lake. It's a perfect, perfect ride to kind of like relax a little bit. Come down here, get on a boat, go on a gentle river cruise, count some gems, help save Redbeard and find Calico Jade and just help the pirates out getting their treasure back. And like I said, it was fun and interactive for the kids to be able to count all of the different gems and gold pieces and yell out different things throughout the ride. I don't know, it was a good time all around. I'm gonna head back. We're actually in the actual Cypress Gardens now, which is the oldest section of Legoland. And we're just gonna kind of walk around. We should be able to see some of the scenes from a different angle through here and just Look around, then we'll go into Legoland and maybe ride a few more rides, get some food, and we'll head out of here. So yeah, back in the pathways around Cypress Gardens, we do have some good views of the ride path. And we can see, kind of like a little preview almost of what we saw. I guess it's not a preview, a post view of what we saw on the ride itself. It's Calico Jade's ship. There they go. Another ship is coming through, another boat. You can see, it is a free floating vessel passing through. And this gives you a good idea of the speed from the outside. Also a lot of really interesting history back here in the gardens, in the Cypress Gardens section of the park. Take for instance, the Chapel Gazebo. They have some fun facts here. Did you know that it was built in 1969 in the highest point in the gardens? It was constructed from pillars which came from the cigar factory which had burned down in Ybor City. And the top of the gazebo was once a satellite receiving dish during World War II. Wow. And it says it's been host to countless weddings. This is interesting. I did not know about the it's, it's like mixed media, right? Like they just kind of built this out of stuff that they found, the columns from a cigar factory, and then the top is a satellite dish from World War II. Should also point out that on a hot summer day, this is a great place to cool off because the natural shade from the trees will keep you cool. Although it's not a very busy day at Legoland, it's never busy back here in the Cypress Garden section. So if you're looking to escape for a little bit, head on back here and relax with this rock right here. There is also a beautiful and gigantic banyan tree back here. I'm gonna make my way around and see if there's any informational signs about it. But it is huge. Oh, this is cool. You can actually walk right through it. Wow. Under the banyan tree. Oh, the information about the banyan tree is real interesting. It was brought to Cypress Gardens by Dick and Julie Pope in 1936. And it was brought here in a five gallon bucket and delivered to this location in a wheelbarrow. Oh, and it says these organisms begin life germinating in the crevices of a host tree or other structure. Huh. And we've made it all the way out to the lake here. What a great view. Like I said, I can't, I can't stress enough how relaxing this area of the park is. And now that we have a boat ride through it, it's even better. And this boat ride travels along the pathway or the canals that are original to Cypress Gardens. So when Cypress Gardens was here, it had a boat ride that went through these canals just like this one does. So we're outside of a pool that is from Cypress Gardens. It is a Florida shaped pool and you can see it here. It, uh, it's got some fish and stuff in it at this point. 
But this is where we see Captain Redbeard at the end of the boat ride. And you can see the boat traveling past right now. And there's Captain Redbeard out at the end of the Florida pool. Oh, there's a turtle in here. Look at that. We love Teddy Jumps. Here's one. Did you hear about the pirate boxer? He had a great left hook. <laughs> All right, so now that we have ridden Pirate River Quest, it's time to get some food because I'm very hungry. It's about lunchtime, so I'm gonna like try to find something interesting and new to eat here at Legoland, Florida. Making my way through some of the rest of the park here, and I'm still seeing more Pirate Fest decorations out and about. Just across from the Coast Guard Academy, there's this restaurant called Deli Takeover. I don't know if I've ever eaten in here before. If we have, it's been a long time. So I'm excited to go inside and try something new. I might get the uh, the classic Italian style hoagie. And that is back here in the imagination area. We got Mindstorms and Lego City Space and a gigantic Einstein head, as well as a, uh, a giraffe that can play soccer. So as soon as we walk in, over here on the side is the, the deli takeover. And it's nice because it's all mostly grab and go stuff. So, I'm gonna get this Italian ciabatta or this Italian style hoagie right here. They have all kinds of other stuff. Peanut butter and jelly, to charcuteries, different sandwiches, wraps, all kinds of interesting things. And they also have, you know, chips and, and ice creams and stuff and they do hot sandwiches. All right, let's have a look at this sandwich here. Like I said, it is grab and go. So, just like a, I don't know, grab and go style sandwich. Pepperoni in there, some mortadella, some salami, and some cheese. And then some form of sauce. I don't remember seeing on the menu what sauce that was. But let's give it a try. Yeah, I mean, it's not really anything special. It does taste good. Mm, it's like a nice sandwich to have. There you go, that's my review of it. It's pretty okay. Nothing too special about it, but it is good. I forgot to mention, it also has sweet peppers on it. It really kind of adds to the flavor of it. Nice, sweet, vinegary flavor, not really spicy at all. The only thing that would make it better is if it, maybe just more meat. It's not like a huge portion of meat in there. A nice, light, fresh lunch, as opposed to getting like hamburgers or fried chicken or something like that. This is nice. Well, up here by Lego Ninjago Land, we have a stage out here, kind of off in the grass underneath some pirate flags, some Jolly Rogers. And then over here, there's another sign that says Pirate's Landing. All right, one of the rides that we decided to go on today was Lost Kingdom Adventure, a little shooter dark ride. It's a nice, calm day with very, very short waits. I need to stop doing this with my left hand. Oh, there's this uh, on, on ride photo. Oh, there's one over here. Ah. I'm literally hitting it and it's not going. Yeah. Off. Oh no. We're getting shot by errors. We did it. Oh, we got that guy. The statues? Oh, I did it. How did we do? Did you beat me even with your left hand? No, I'm no. I switched my right hand. Oh, okay. But I was holding the camera. I think last ride that we have time for, the dragon. I'm excited because the last time we rode this, it was with Jackson for his first 40 inch roller coaster. He's not here today, but still a good ride. Ooh. Last time we were on this, it was a, a disco ride. And now it's not. Look at this little dragon right here. Why is he so upset? Oh, because the rats. Ooh, magic. Oh, no, it is still disco. Well, that's fun and exciting. Oh, no, we're going to get wet, aren't we? Please don't spray me. Please don't spray me. Please don't spray me. Please don't spray me. Thank you. I am still having a little bit of trouble following the storyline of this ride. Going up the lift hill.
little coaster. Most enjoyable. Oh, what's he doing? What an excellent day at Legoland. A little bit of a short day, but it was still a fantastic time. Not a lot of people here today, so no waits for anything. Uh, the Pirate River Quest was super fun. Can't wait to come back and ride it again with Jackson and just come to Legoland again with Jackson. We need to get back to Peppa Pig Land because Peppa Pig Land, super fun, and Jackson loved everything in it. So I think we'll definitely be back soon to do either Peppa Pig Land or Legoland again. But all in all, it was a fantastic day. I wanted to say thank you to Legoland for having us out for a media preview of Pirate River Quest. It was a good time. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.